Hello today and welcome back. Today we have a new video where Prince Harry and Meghan have spoken to a couple of youth who are part of the Responsible Technology Youth Power Fund. This is a philanthropic project bringing together a cohort of leaders who are advocating for a more safer internet. So let's get straight into this clip. Hello, this is Tazine. Hi, Tazine. Hi, Tazine. Hi. <laughs> oh my God. I can't believe that I'm, I'm speaking with you both right now. <laughs> the Responsible Technology Youth Power Fund is an investment in young people that are shaping a more equitable and inclusive technology future. The Youth Power Fund is supporting 26 organizations from around the United States that are focused on the whole spectrum of responsible technology from harm mitigation, to ensuring equitable access to the benefits of technology, to using technology as a, a platform to address some of the biggest challenges that um, this next generation is facing. Congratulations, this is great, and we're so happy to have you as part of this team. Really, thank you for all the work you're doing. It's huge, it's making an enormous impact. It was like young people were empowered and emboldened to say things to me online that they would never say to me in person. And so my vision was... Can we actually stop the cyberbullying at the source with the cyberbully via a behavioral approach that actually teaches young people to pause and rethink. This is amazing. This is exactly why we do what we do. This is exactly why the Youth Power Fund was created. You know, so many different opportunities have presented itself to really uplift our message and to continue our work to inform legislation and to create a safe online world for young people, for the next generation. For your kids and so many other people that need to be protected. And to have their digital rights maintained. Social media was a major area that I think in many ways is a lot helpful to a lot of people, but at the same time creates huge harms for so many people, especially in terms of mental health. Uh, I felt like I had to get involved because I think young people need to be heard in order for politicians to take action on this issue. I got involved in a legislative advocacy initiative in my home state of California here in the U.S. And um, I actually came across an investigation that found that um, there were algorithms being used in our legal system here in the U.S. that are actually biased against black defendants. Thank you for doing everything that you do. Our kids especially are incredibly grateful. <laughs> um, they don't know it yet. They don't know it yet. But they but will. So good to talk to you. Bye. Bye. Thanks, <laughs> Have a good Take one. Care, bye. bye. So there we have it. Wonderful to see that Harry and Meghan, first of all, are looking so relaxed and happy. And I just love how they take advantage of the environment that they have, the natural spaces in their home. And on that bench, just having a chat with these young people who were so amazed to talk with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. And it was wonderful to see them appreciating everything that they do. And it was good to see Prince Harry personally saying that he thanked them on behalf of their kids and Meghan clarified that they do not know it yet. The couple recently helped the Youth Power Fund make its official launch by calling up these few 26 different honorees who in total will receive $2 million to help fund their projects. And they shared these snippets from those conversations. So one of the young people called Emma Lemke told Vanity Fair, quote, it was a complete surprise. I had no idea I would be speaking with them. And she is the co-chair for an internet safety advocacy organization. And she talked about the fact that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's work has been pivotal in moving so many uh, issues forward and bringing visibility to a lot of important areas and specifically responsible tech. So yes, um, it is wonderful to see that they are on the front line, putting their money where their mouths are. And this Youth Power Fund is a sign that stakeholders from across generations want to talk about how the internet can be a safer and better place for young users. It is so important as well when you talk about cyberbullying for what one of the ladies said in the clip. It is quite interesting how some people will say something to someone on the internet that they would not naturally say to them face to face. So it is good to see that they will help people learn how to navigate and use the online spaces in a way that will be safe 
and beneficial to them, even as they explore the world around them. I think we all know that the internet can be not only a place to learn, but it has its downsides as well. And I think it's good, especially to the younger generation, to know about this perspective on the internet that it has not only benefits but it can quite also have some harms and i think for those of you out there who have young ones share in the comment section how you navigate online spaces with your children or nephews or nieces or if in fact you are in the educational sphere and you have students how do you talk to them about online safety so wonderful to see the duke and duchess of sussex i have got to say just once again uh they do look so happy and so relaxed in this clip and for those people i've just got to add this in here for the people who are saying that they are on the verge of divorce i think they have to think twice because this is a united front uh prince harry and Meghan are once again here announcing these winners united in this video looking so happy and their body language around each other completely relaxed and in my opinion they are so much in love so so much to look forward to a great start to august as we all know this month the duke of sussex is going to be heading off to asia specifically to japan and singapore for the centibale a cup the polo cup so i'm also hoping we get to see megan there and um just so much to look forward to share your thoughts on this in the comment section below as always before we log off a special thank you to those who support this channel financially to my patreon paypal and membership supporters i would like to give a very heartfelt thank you and i'd like to shout out a couple of you by name a special thank you to you Segan Ajos, thank you for the boost you've given my work through your giving and your generosity. Thank you, I love you. Thank you as well to Denise Grayson. I truly appreciate you for being here with me on this YouTube journey. Thank you so much for your generosity towards this channel. And a special thank you as well to you, Lala. Thank you so very much for your generosity and your kindness. I truly do see you and I appreciate you. Thank you. You are so loving and kind. Thank you as well to all of you who once again give to this channel financially. And share your thoughts on this news in the comment section below. And if you want to keep it here for more updates, be sure to click subscribe as well as the bell notification. Set it to all so that you will know when any upload drops. And give this video a thumbs up. It truly does help out the channel. Thank you all for watching. And if you want to watch more videos, click the links in the cards and at the end screens. And I will see you there. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a blessed one.